All right. Now, I uh, want to, first of all, uh, congratulate our entire program, including, I think, the sophomore B. We're undefeated at every level in every game so far this year, playing our non-conference schedule, so that's outstanding. So give yourselves a round of applause, gentlemen. Great job. Um, off to very good start. Now, something important, and we'll highlight this as we go, but our uh, reports begin today for eligibility, okay? That's a big deal. And uh, we'll begin to talk about this each week on Tuesdays more with your coaches. As we get those lists, remember you have to be passing all of your classes every week. If you're getting a, a grade that is not passing, must be passing the following week to be eligible. So you want to check power school. You want to get that done. Uh, it's really uh, not good and not fair to your teammates if you put them in a situation where you can't play because you don't have passing grades. You need to get in and get the extra work done with your teachers. You need to make sure that we're all clear on that because that would be the worst possible thing. You can't play because you're not passing your courses. So let's do a good job with that. All right, uh, Coach uh, Theriel, come on up. Freshman awards. Here we go. New haircut. Thanks, guys. New haircut. Freshman. Freshman. All right, uh, freshman this week, we won 26 zip. All right, pitch a shutout. Let's go here for that. Let's go. All right, uh, first of all, defensive player of the game. Um, defensively, we pretty much shut them down. They had a few plays, but other than that, they really didn't get many yards. So defensively, this is going to go to the entire D-line. So all the linemen, get up here. Let's go. Yeah, where, where's where's older Borsma? Hey, your brother, your brother, clap it up for your brother. Yeah, yeah, here you go, here you go. Here you go. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. there we go. Nice job, Jordan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nice job, Cam. Nice job, Brian. Is that everybody? Oh, all right, whatever. Okay, and uh, special teams. Special teams this week with a lot of good holds. Adam Benderitis. Come on up, Bendy. Hustle up. Hustle up. Yeah. Nice job. Nice job, Bendy. Keep it up. Keep it up. Okay, last one. Um, This is, uh, we didn't have a B game this week, so really a practice player of the week. This guy pretty much all season, wherever we need him, he comes in. Phil's in, he's been doing a great job. Gives us a good look with whatever we're doing. So that's Kevin Farbiz. Nice job, Kevin, nice job. I'll find your clips. All right, here's Coach Plate with the offense. Uh, need to do laundry. All right, offensive player this week for the freshman. This guy took our first play from off from, oh, <laughs> took our first play in offense all the way to the house, and he had another uh, another long run over 50 yards and several runs over 20. So he had a great game against Libertyville. Libertyville. Art. Coach K. Really is my birthday. This how this, this how this whole thing started. So was it seven years ago? It was really my birthday, and everybody says happy birthday. And now on announcement or awards days, everybody says happy birthday. So that's how that little tradition. But today is actually really my birthday. You know, like the past six years it was not my birthday on Tuesday. I was really confused. And where's my gifts? I didn't know. Whatever. Uh, uh, sophomores won, guys. Pretty handily against Libertyville. Um, can't remember if they scored first, but it doesn't matter. We end up winning 23 to six. Um, it was one of those games that just wasn't out of hand. We just absolutely physically dominated on both sides of the balls. It was pretty impressive. It made me uh, be pretty proud as a coach. I'm gonna do the offense and special. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do um, sophomore B game, which we had a B game slash JV game Saturday morning against Bonzi Valley. We won eight to six. So in the, uh, in the B game, um, player of the game for offense was Danny Wells. He caught a touchdown. Come on up, Danny Wells. Yep. Uh, coach Bruni, he's our volunteer coach. He was going to do special team award this week, but he's not here right now. He works over at the middle school, so he doesn't get here about 3.30. But uh, it'll be McKinley Navelle again for blocking another extra point. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
two weeks in a row, he's blocked an extra point, and he got up just sprinting to our sideline. No, 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 no. It's pretty hilarious. Good stuff. Uh, Coach Will will be next for offensive players of the game against Libertyville. Coach Will. Well. It's not his birthday. It's my birthday. No, I don't need him. Okay, uh, I want, uh, first of all, the entire offensive line and Fitch come up here. Entire offensive line. I want Mikey McFarland, tight end. And I want Isaiah Fields and Peyton. Isaiah and Peyton. Where's... Now, guys, quiet. Listen up. Our offensive line, uh, I don't know, we have not had a dominating... As an offensive line coach, this was extremely fun to watch. I hope we keep it up. We're not huge on the offensive line. We only hit the ball six times, but we had 285 yards of rushing. And uh, for sophomores, that's pretty good. Uh, if you look at our highlight video, sophomore highlight video, I don't remember the last time this has happened. The offensive line made the highlight video, all right? And when I say made the highlight video, it's not circling one guy's block. They circle the side of the offensive line. And it's like a steamroller plowing everything out of the way. So it was a great job. These are the guys in the two backs that ran really well, but other backs ran well as Angel was up there too. These guys really got us going. Congratulations, offensive line and offensive starters here. And I think uh, Coach is it Les All right, Jensen is next. You guys come see me. I'll give you the stickers then too. Too bad. Next year. What's your speech? Get out of here. Oh, can I stand hey. up here? You can, you can stand up here by me because it makes me look better. All right. But you can, you can stay up here. My inspiration is Evan Day. All right, uh, defense played well for our sophomore team last week, and I was told since what, during home games, if the varsity can announce 15 or 16 starters, I'm allowed to also give away five stickers. All right, all the other teams, they don't realize that's why your guys are so good. Every home game we announce like 15 starters. That's why our defense is so awesome, I guess. All right, first off, we had, we'll start from the back, defensive backs. We had two guys that had picks, kind of game-changing plays for us. All right, Justin Major and Tommy Larson. Big picks for us. There you go. Even though Major's pick was on a fourth down in the end zone and he tried to return it, even though he could have just batted it down. Okay, all right, great job. All right, we'll go to the linebackers. Our... Uh, had one linebacker gave a lot of pressure uh, and a lot of different plays, was running down all over the field. Um, where is he? Marco, Jaeger, get up here. Our other line, another linebacker getting a sticker. Led our team in tackles for loss and total tackles. All right, Carter Getty, get up here. Smile for the camera. Look at that smile. Look at that, look at that hair. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And then a D lineman. The D line all played pretty darn well, but there was somebody that just couldn't be blocked at all in any play whatsoever. Glisten, get on up here. Where are you here? Smile with your eyes. There you go. It's his mad face. It's his mad. Face. All right. Good job. Good job. Slap hands. Who's up next? Coach Miller. All right. Or steak. Steak, where are you? How are those sideburns? Where are they? There they are. Look at them. Those are great. Love them. I have the honor to uh, request the uh, scout players to come over up. Colazzo and uh, Bardell. Bardell. Come on. These players help prepare the team to, uh, to be active uh, with their offensive scouting. So give them a big a round of applause. <laughs> All right, scout O and D players of the week. So the D tells me who to say, and I we tell them wait or something. So offensive player of the week, scout player of the week, works his can off, special guy. 
You all know him. You love him. Crumb Woody. Come on up, Crumbs. Crumbs. You'll get your football after practice. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Kadena. Now this person I'm about to introduce is very special. He reminds me very much so of Mike Singletary. Maybe a little Dick Buckus too. This kid's unreal. Now I know, come Saturday, five year streak of undefeated we got going against St. Charles North coming in. All right? This kid is gonna have a monster game. Connie, come on up! <laughs> Talk to your fans. Talk to your fans. Come here, Connie. Shh. Connie. Connie, what do you want to say to all the Batavia Bulldog fans out there that know and love, know and love Connie? What do you got to say? Watch me get picked Saturday. Ah, here you go, baby. <laughs> all right. Coach. Coach C. Special teams. Let's do it. Okay. Special teams player of the week. No, Johnny did not have an opportunity to drop a punt again, so we're all right. Okay. Um, first one will be for the game-winning field goal and a, another field goal. And how many extra points? Where's Heinz at? Four? Four, four field goals or four extra points and two field goals. Heinz? Thank you. Welcome. And the last uh, special team player of the week for his blocked field goal at the end, Jay Hunt. Thank you. Hey, no one's cheering for you. We have offense and defensive player of the week. All right, so offensively, again, this week, we struggled a little bit. Um, again, towards the, uh, the middle of the game, towards the end, though, again, we kept our composure. Two long drives down the stretch and then had a real nice uh, three overtime series. Uh, this young man kept his composure the entire time and throughout the game threw four touchdown passes. So offensive player of the game, Riley Cooper. And uh, Coach, hold on, get here. Coach, Coach Holmes is going to hurry this up because Mr. Cooper has his bowling league tonight. So he's going to get off. I, I don't know if we should give awards to either one of these guys because neither one of them is practicing today. You know? Riley's going bowling, and the other guy just wants to take a day off. Um, guys, our safeties, we always say, are free tacklers. In other words, offenses account for them on paper, but very rarely get to block them. That means when they get there, they have to be sure tacklers. Uh, so this guy was free and sure this week as our safety, one of our safeties. He had 17 solos and four assists and saved our bacon in a couple of different plays. So uh, our game ball goes to, uh, what's your name? Michael Nemec, Mike, Mike Nemec, yes, congratulations. He's not practicing today. So, <clears throat> he's got a boo-boo. Any words for young Batavians out there? Uh, no. Would, any tips? Tips, I, you I got any have, tips? I have no tips. How about practice, get to practice? Yeah, get to work. Let's get to work. All right, boys, let's go, let's get at it.